there's many reasons why squats might actually be better than the leg press for getting you results. Here are two main reasons why squats might actually be better than the leg press. The first is what we call limited muscle engagement. The leg press may be using your lower body, but it primarily targets the quadriceps, which is the front of the legs. Whereas squats allow you to go through a full range of motion, enabling you to use your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, your core, everything from the neck down. So squats are more of what we call a functional movement and that promotes strength, balance, and mobility. The leg press generally tracks in one motion and that doesn't do anything for your core strength or balance. The second reason is less functional movement and what that means is that your everyday activities are not gonna be enhanced as much by doing the leg press as they are with squats because squats mimic sitting, standing, movements that we do every single day. On the other hand, leg press takes away a lot of those stability muscles that squats use. So it's not gonna be as transferable for strength in everyday life or sports. Now look, I know some people are gonna say, hey, I can do more weight on the leg press, so it's gotta be a better exercise, and I gotta be getting stronger faster with the leg press. Well, again, that's not necessarily true. Just because you can lift more weight on the leg press doesn't mean you're going to get better results. So there are several reasons why that argument doesn't hold true but here's the top three. The first is lack of core activation because you are tracked in a range of motion, whereas squats force the different stabilizer muscles that are in your lower back, in your spine, in your hips, in your knees, in your ankles, all of these have to work together to do a squat. So if you only did the leg press machine in that tracked range of motion and those stabilizer muscles don't get any work, when you go to pick up a pencil or vacuum, you're gonna hurt something because your stabilizer muscles don't know how to function. Whereas from doing squats regularly, all of those muscles will know their job, they'll activate when needed, and you have less chance of having an injury in everyday life activities. The next reason is your joint health and mobility. The leg press tends to have a limited range of motion. You can't go as deep and therefore you can't get those joints to move through a full range of natural motion. And that actually puts stress on the joints. And we're talking about your hip joints, your knee joints, your ankle joints, everything. And when you combine that limited range of motion with the heavier weight on the leg press, you're putting much more stress on your joints and creating muscle imbalances that are eventually going to give you an injury. And that's why squats are the king of all exercises because they work all of your joints, all of those core stabilization muscles at the same time. Proper form on the squats is gonna help not only your strength, but your flexibility and keep those joints mobile and have so much less stress because they're working through a natural range of motion. Keeping your joints strong and functional is the key to less stress on them and that's gonna keep them healthy longer. And of course, if the joints aren't stable and strong, then the rest of us isn't gonna be that good either. And the third reason why lifting heavier weights on the leg press won't necessarily get you better results is because lifting more doesn't necessarily mean getting stronger in real life. So just because you're pushing more weight on the leg press doesn't necessarily mean you're getting stronger for those everyday activities you do. And one huge mistake that I have seen over and over in my years in the gym is that people constantly put more weight on the leg press and then they reduce their range of motion because they can't use the right form because the weight's too heavy. And I've actually seen it to where people have so much weight on there and their range of motion is so little, they're really doing nothing at all. But wait, there's more. The leg press doesn't give you a lot of variety. You can change your feet position a little bit. There's so many different ways you can do squats. You have the back squat, the front squat, the plie squat, the sumo squat, the one-legged squat, the pistol squat, and I'm sure there's a ton others that I'm forgetting, but that gives you an idea. There's a lot of different choices. And if you think about squats being, let's say, a 10 out of 10 for your body, then a leg press is kind of like a six or seven. <laughs> So squats require more coordination, stability, strength, flexibility, and they also increase those in your body, whereas the leg press keeps you on a single track and you might be able to use more weight, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be getting stronger. So just remember that and be sure to either include squats in your routine or alternate them with the leg press. And as you work that, you're targeting those stabilizer muscles for the hips and for the knees. And that's something the leg press can't do because it removes the need for balance and stabilization. And those are both crucial 
for everyday life. And especially as we get older, if we ignore some of those little muscles by doing exercises that take away stabilization, like the leg press, they get weak and they're going to be more likely to fail. And then that simple thing of just bending down to pick up a grocery bag is what throws your whole body off into pain. The important things to remember are that you need exercise variety and that squats should be part of your regular routine. If you're not sure what type of routine you should be doing and want to get results like my clients, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. Link in the description.